Good afternoon! I have just a few tips and tricks for you to help you get the most out of your iPad today. So to begin, we're going to look at how to split your keyboard. By taking one finger and touching the Notes app, you will access your keyboard. You can type a note just by touching the side of your screen, and your keyboard will pop right up. You can begin typing just as usual, but if you'd like to make a texting keyboard, take your thumbs and put them by the letters G and H, and then you want to slide them toward the outside of your screen, toward the black, and your keyboard will split right into two pieces here. And that's handy for if you like to use um, a texting keyboard like you'd access on a phone. And if you want to unite your keyboard again, all you do is take your fingers, put them back on the both sides of the keyboard, and push them together, and your keyboard will come back together as one unit. The next thing that we're going to look at today is how to use the clock app. So to get back to your home screen, remembering we push the circle button once, that home button, and your, your iPad will orient back to that home page. Then you want to find the icon that says clock and touch it just one time till it opens on your screen. And when it opens, you'll see that mine is in a timer mode. Um, I can tell that it's in the timer mode because the icon in the lower right-hand corner is illuminated red. You can control your timer just by using one finger to dial up and down, swiping like usual on the iPad. And you set the timer by pushing that green start button just once. It's a great visual timer for students to use. They can watch the red line move all the way around the outside of the circle. And right now you'll see music notes located right below that time that's ticking down. And that's how you change the ringtone on your timer. So right now I'm set to the radar ringtone. If I touch that one time, I can see all of the different ringtones that the iPad has. I can use one finger to scroll up and down on that menu. And then touching the word of the new ringtone that I'd like, it will change that ringtone for me. The next thing that I'd like to look at is how to use the stopwatch feature. So if you take your finger right where it says timer, go one to icon to the left, you'll see the word stopwatch. When that's illuminated, you're in stopwatch mode. Works just like a normal stopwatch. Pushing start will access that, or get that stopwatch going, and then stop again. Going one icon over from stopwatch, you'll see your alarm clock. This is really handy. Um, you can set recurring alarms if you need them. Um, by going to the upper right hand corner and touching the plus sign once, you'll be able to create a new alarm. So you can dial for AM or PM. You can repeat it if you touch where it says the word repeat and then you'll see never touching one time. You can make it repeat every Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever you need. Um, you can also access a snooze or you can slide that snooze off by switching um, the green to white by sliding to the left. When your alarm is just the way you want it, again you can change the sounds just like we looked at in the last feature. You just push the word save and that alarm clock is on. If you decide you do not want that alarm clock on, you can always slide it off by toggling the green switch to the left. You can also edit that alarm or delete it by pushing the edit button in the upper left hand corner and you'll see a red icon. You can touch that and push the word delete to get rid of that alarm. Finally, there's a world clock feature, um, which we looked at already, but you can go the icon to the left. You'll see world clock and you can access clocks from all different countries. Again, touching that plus sign to add a new one if the feature is available, if you'd like an additional clock. Pushing the home button, you will access your main page again. That's that circle button. The next thing we'd like to look at is closing apps. This helps you maximize your iPad's battery. If you double tap your home button, you'll see all of your open windows. This is like if you were on your desktop and you minimize screens, they're all really open and running on your computer. You have to close out of them. So um, what you do is double tap. Everything will show up just a small version of it. Taking one finger, you can swipe straight up and that's how you close all of your open apps that you have. When you have no more windows, everything is closed and you can touch your home screen again and you are back to normal. Um, finally, one more trick to show you. If you take your iPad and swipe straight up from that home button, changing the orientation here, you're going to see um, your feature bar here. You can 
change your volume by going to the lower left hand side and swiping that volume all the way up or down, however you prefer. You can also adjust your brightness, which is handy if your iPad is low on battery. Um, you can conserve your battery that way. You can access your camera as well by touching the camera icon. And then to minimize that bar, touching the little arrow located in the center, it will pop right back down for you. Thank you very much.